Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Pastor Jeff. And uh, I thought, you know what? Today is too beautiful of a day for me not to be outside. And so instead of recording in some room and then putting a green screen behind me and then trying to make it look like I'm outside, I thought, you know what? I'm actually going to go outside today. And so for our midweek encouragement this week, I'd just like to share a scripture with you outside and absorb some vitamin D uh, because that kind of leads into my question. You know, maybe what do you do? What do you do when you are stressed in life, when you are depressed, oppressed, repressed, obsessed? What do you do in life when you are stressed out when when life is just uh, you had one of those days man one of those days where uh, you get off work or you, you get ready to head home and you're just like i'm not doing nothing like i'm the i'm going to do the one thing i want to do and it's going to make me feel better and i'm going to what are you going to do what are you going to do uh maybe for me it used to be call my mom i was kind of a mama's boy and I liked, uh, you know, it's not because it's not like, a, oh, I run to my mommy, I'm going to cry to her type of thing. But it was more of a, I believe my mom's got some insight and wisdom and she can help me work through this. And I know she's always uh, got my best interest in mind. And so she could help me kind of process what is going on. But, but you know, at some point I kind of got to this uh, where I felt a little guilty. I felt like, was I, was I going to my mom before I went to God? And so like, I still go and I still talk to my mom. Um, but I try to remember, remind myself, I need to go to the Lord first. Uh, maybe it's movies for you. I love movies, man. There's something about, uh, I get excited about sitting down to watch a movie or even go into the movie theater, uh, go into the theater and being able to just, just kind of suspend reality for that hour and a half. Or if you're watching infinity war, that three to, three and a half hours or whatever, just getting to sit there and just not think about anything else. I mean, there's something kind of peaceful about that. Maybe for you, it's maybe like social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, Walla Walla, Bing Bang, I don't know, whatever it is, uh, you scrolling, man, and you just kind of, you forget about whatever else and then you get absorbed in that. But, you know, any, any piece that we find in the movies <clears throat> is momentary. And, there, and there's just there's no peace <laughs> if you've been on social media right now. There's no peace to be found on social media. Uh, but but where do you go? Where do you go? That's the question. Where do you run to? Maybe some of those examples have resonated with you. I want to share just a quick two verses for you. It's found in uh, Psalms chapter 59, and it's from King David. And uh, it's before he was king there, he was being uh, persecuted by King Saul because uh, David had been anointed the king and Saul was the king and Saul didn't like David. And so Saul was coming after him and he had actually set these guys to be outside of David's house, just waiting for him and watching them, ready to kill him, ready to kill him. And so can you imagine sitting in your house and knowing that there's people here and there and they're, they're waiting and they're going to kill you? Uh, that would be a stressful thought for me. Uh, and so this is what David says um, when he when he does. He prays for deliverance. He prays for protection. Uh, he prays actually for these, these bloodthirsty men outside his door that they would realize that uh, Yahweh is the one true God. But then at the end of the psalm in, in verses 16 and 17, David says this. He says, the wind's picking up. It's getting a little crazy. But the Lord is in this place, right? Uh, he says, but I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. The Lord has been to him in the day of his distress, a fortress and a refuge. In verse 17, he says, Oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you. For you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. What stands out to me is, is it tells us where David is running. He has got literally, it feels like the world is coming down on him. And where does he run? Does he run to, to women? Does he, does he run to his mama? Does he run to watch some Shakespearean play? No. But what does he do? David runs to God and he calls God his, his fortress, his refuge in time 
of trouble, in days of distress. And I just want to say today, I think that that is such a good example to follow, that we would, instead of running to to good counsel, wise counsel, that's good places to run. But first, before that, let us run to God. May God be the, the first one that you call out to in your days of distress. And maybe that's today. May God be the first one you call out to today. May God's word be the first thing that you pick up today. May his wisdom be the, the wisdom that you honor the most. And may his peace, the only lasting peace, be the peace that you seek today. And I believe what will happen is he will prove to be the only fortress and the only refuge that can stand against whatever the world may throw at you today. So in him find peace, in him find refuge, and may he be your fortress in days of distress. Hey, God bless you guys. I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful weather today, and I hope that you have a great day in the Lord. May he be your fortress and your refuge. God bless you guys.